This is not a show off, but rather a show how video. How I was able to stack 167 ounces of silver from the time I started this channel, only nine weeks ago. I didn't use any bill paying money or discretionary funds to do this. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I did do and how I stayed centered on the goal. It's really simple. I just sold junk from my closet on eBay. Everything you see here was bought by taking stuff I no longer use, selling it on eBay, turning it into fiat, and then buying silver. All that stuff is only going to go down in value, and eventually to zero. This silver here will at the very least hold its value, while I expect its price to greatly increase. But that was the easy part. One of the most important things I've learned is that you need to stay grounded when you're stacking precious metals. It's easy to get caught up in the hype and start spending more money than you can afford. On the other hand, it's easy to become complacent and not take things going on in the world seriously enough. I think of it as a goalpost. To the left is the pole of complacency and inaction. To the right is the pole of doom and gloom. The truth lies somewhere between those extremes, centered between the poles. On this channel, I've debunked the hype of $300 silver and Mexico running out of silver. I've also focused on how the Fed is really driving the market now with interest rates, about how there is a floor under silver prices based on industrial demand and all-in sustaining costs of production, about how industrial demand can only continue to increase given the electrified future the central planners are forcing us into. The endless war, NATO, CBDCs, inflation, interest rates, the silver to gold ratio, the deficit in silver supply versus demand for EVs and solar panels, investment demand, central bank buying of gold, BRICS nations possibly introducing a gold-linked digital currency. So that's a setup for an asymmetric buying opportunity, relatively low downside with a big upside potential. Fact-based, reasonable arguments keep us between the goalposts. Get caught up in the hype, and we'll flame out. Don't take it seriously, and our stack will be weak. For those that are interested in what I've picked up, there's a PAMP kilo bar, an Argor Horaeus kilo bar, two Britannia 10-ounce bars, a Germania Mint 10-ounce bar, a Horaeus 10-ounce bar, an Asahi 10-ounce bar, it's 21 kangaroos, a roll of 14 Smilodon 2-ounce coins from the Royal Canadian Mint, a Krugerrand, a Britannia, and a couple of maples, for a total of 167.3 ounces. Going forward, 10-ounce press bars, both Britannia and RCM bars, and Canadian maples are my favorite just for stacking ounces. This is a lot of fun too, so it's easy to get caught up in all the cool stuff out there. I really want a Kookaburra from the Perth Mint, but the premiums are just too high. Just say no for now. Maybe later a deal will come along. This is a great reminder that stacking silver is a long-term investment, and you should not get discouraged if the price of silver does not go up immediately. Focus on the long term, and if you just keep stacking, you will eventually reach your goals. That's all I've got for now. If you got something useful out of this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We'll see you next time.